here is super, super important. So the fact that the Bakshi, the Frederick has been taken yeah. out, they picked up the Roger as well. Some of the assassins have been banned out by XYG. Yeah. Akai's gonna struggle in that jungle clear yeah. department, and it is gonna be Roger in the jungle. They'll give yep. over Super Marco with that Grod and the Grok too. So yep. it's going to be the Edith in oh, the XP. Man. man, so much poke. They have a power yep. of nature to play with. Ah, so much, too much actually for yep. XYG. Even Bakito, at the start, maybe? Akai's gonna just struggle in terms. Yeah, of Yeah, I guess. But then there was there is a world where the Akai is actually the rope here for XYG. So if you're facing up against the Grok and the Claude. It's now difficult to go for an assassin juggler, so maybe you're forced to go for what? Maybe Alpha for, for XYG, but that's not going to be winning it. I think this might be just a Paquito last pick for XYG or a Benedetta. A jungle? No, Paquito EXP. Ah, so Arlet Rome. Arlet Rome, perhaps. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking about. But yeah, um, if not, then maybe I Hayabusa for XYG. Let's, Let's see. see. Oh, it's going to be Lolita pick. Oh, so no. it's going to be a Lolita. So this Arlet is going to the EXP. This Lolita is going to be interesting. Thank you very much, Wolf, as well as Merkel, for your service. Now we got to throw it over to the casters. Good luck for you guys. It's time for us to be of service as we go into game number two. In this best of two, once again, between XYG and Falcons AP Bren. Gideon, you got to consider the amount of regrouping power, the reset that XYG had to go through given that defeat in game one. I'll be honest with you, the first half of the draft, I was thinking that XYG was going to replay their composition from game number one all over again, but with the minor changes, and honestly, I think our panelists nailed it on the head. Activate KLVJ, put him on something where he can really flex his mechanics, and that Arlet with the support system that he has, this could be very dangerous. Now it's a tough call. There has to be a give and a take, an oop to the alley, if you will, <laughs> because once KLVJ gets in there, vengeance, vengeance, final slash, vengeance, then there's got to be follow-up. Mm -hmm. And where's it going to come from? Clearly, it's going to come from Long. He's the only one who can really do it. Him and Yone. Because right now, Zed, one of their star players, is on a playmaker as well, a role-playing playmaker. Well, I think, you know, the exciting part of this game is at least XYG's composition is a little bit more flexible than before. Now they don't have to just wait for FCAP to do something. They can actually be proactive, and they can play very defensively. So now, uh, Falcons AP brand, for them, it's about tempo from the lanes. Can they find it? And now we're off to a great start. Again, Beardle in between these two teams in the first minute of the game. You here about to get collapsed on, and hopefully he survived. Oh wait, no, he accidentally whips the skill shot. He's in so much trouble. A simple mechanical mistake costing him his life. And Kyle Tz, he's not going any further than this. He's just going to regroup with his team, focus on maintaining that tempo. I'm, I'm sorry, Flap. Hopefully he's going to be able to come back into this with few. Off to a great start again. A lot of oh, easy to access CC. There's the onward. Yeah, but it can't seem to get out of here. Forced to use the flicker early on, and now KLVJ. He's gonna have multiple activations here. This is where he's strongest. I'm gonna give him a little bit more CC so he can vengeance one more time as they find two more kills, and that is XYG taking off the chains. Oh, they are taking everything away from Falcons AP. Brent clipping their wings right at the root. Ogwen might have even caught some of it if not for the ancient blessing, if not for the extra physical defense that you have as a Grok when you're standing up against the wall or a turret nub. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I was surprised that XYG got so much off of that because they were the ones invading the jungle. The first two minutes, they're taking more damage, but it just goes to show that the synergy, and especially when you have Arlet, the more CC you have, the more vengeances you get. Oh, so nasty. And now that just shows that XYG, where, where they're playing in a comfortable atmosphere. Again, this is how they play back uh, in their uh, homeland, in their league. They want a lot of CC. They want a lot of collapse. Mm -hmm. And they again, end games under 15 minutes. Now Fuse in trouble once more. Oh, he manages to hit level four, but he gets out of the way. This time, he's not missing his skill shots. But man, you can just see, with that being said, XYG now open up the map so much more. Flap to easy. He's playing a dangerous game here, but it's totally fine. Hopefully, they find this kill onto Ogun, forcing him to flicker away. The anti-CC keeps him alive. Doesn't put that demonic mark on him just yet. All right, still a tough situation. Falcon Safety Brand not out of the woods just yet. Mm. They are down about Ooh. a thousand gold, give or take, approaching, and oh, this does not help. Zed stealing away these little camps. It's these games of inches that add up to a mile. And now looking at the XP, again, at least, at least Kyle is getting his uh, XP. 
This is, uh, in some cases, what we call the anti-disaster protocol. Now he's in trouble. Okay, dodges the alt with the Lycan pounce. Really nicely done. Flapdz is still stuck in, in this lane, but unfortunately for him, it's not the best matchup in the world, especially when you're up against the Arler. A lot of easy micro for him. Oh, I Earth Shatter, I hit Vengeance. Simple as that. XP going over to Kyle, but gold. That's where Zed has him outnumbered. Look at this. Currently 200 between the utility and the fighter slash assassin type jungler. And again, this is where a lot of schools of thoughts come to converge and diverge. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a utility roamer, your items are just much cheaper. Oh, so yeah. this activates XYG just so much faster. Now look at this. They're approaching 1,500 and change ahead of Falcon's AP brain. And now, oh, they're going to play it. Oh, they're going to get a lot of gold. They're going to get so much gold for Loom here. And even few coming a little late. All because, oh, I missed one skill shot. I ended up dying. And now I'm late on the tempo. Falcon's AP brand. It's going to be a bit of a struggle through this early to mid. And hopefully XYG are able to maintain this pace because right now Kyle TZ, he's it's not like he's building like crazy fast items like nope. Skypiercer he's going very traditional he's taking his time he's still playing the defense uh, despite having uh, a good time mm -hmm. relatively good time Relative. in his side of the jungle mm -hmm. against a team that's so aggressive like XYG right now it's still not a good look we got a turtle spawning in the upper quarter of the map look at how deep flap is uh, this is a good sign I'd say for Falcon CP Brand on the lower half of the map down bottom Jeez. but Look at the speed of the rotation. This is this is KLVJ. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, he evens out the lane, but KLVJ sacrifices his entire wave just to be here. Yuan already taking a good amount of damage, but now God Yang holding up that shield. Oh, doesn't hit the final slash. Earth home. Shatter connects, but it really doesn't matter here. Walking up is already tough. Yin Yang reactions are good. He's still thinking about it. It's going to be a 50-50 here. Here comes the heavy spin. They're going to go for it. It's KLVJ who finds that turtle. Eternal Guard going to stop FCAP from progressing forward unless Flap TZ, he finds one. Lung quickly purifies out of there, collides into two. And luckily that two included Super Marco. So now nobody's still down yet. They're all so low. And Flap TZ finds one. Lung takes the next trade. And Kyle oh. looking to finish as many people possible. It's a three for one trade unless they can get one back. Yo, what, yo, E1 is out of there. Kill VJ playing it slow, but looking for anybody to quickly jump. And that's a wild shot for Oakland to say no more. I think the clutch moment for that long, drawn-out team fight was the oh, DB. Oh, up. No way. SOD. SOD on one. Come on. Is no he brave? <sighs> All right. Long behave. Long behave. behave. <laughs> Woo. All right. Check it out. It started with the turtle fight and the collapse. God Yang goes. This is way past the point where in Super Mario pulled the trigger on the defensive blazing duet. And then from there, it was all few. It was all... Ogwin, it was all Kyle. And then they're able to get a little bit of that green, reposition themselves, regroup, and then collapse on whoever was left. Amazing work by Falcon's AP Brent, but they're, Ooh. again, still down, 500 gold, heavy spin on a few. He can't get out of this at all. The Eternal Guard as well can't really peel too much. And now he is gone. Or double Oracles being purchased by the tanks from the side of XIG. He got that OO. Oh, oh. He's got that OO, oh, oh, baby. They're going to be crashing open that mid lane as quickly as possible. But Ogwin and Flapdz are going to try. Oh, wait, the Watch Out Flicker just to slow them down. But they don't have the damage. They're willing to sacrifice their lives for this as Kyle is able to get a little bit of space. Oh. Do it long. Come on. He's brave, right? No. They take the tier one. He's disciplined. Not going to force it again. You're looking at Flapdeez. You're looking at an Edith whose kit is made up of two old level CCs that he can pull at any time. I think Long is just def just respecting that amount of uh, counter engage from Falcon's AP Brand. That will definitely help him keep their gold lead. Now about 2,000 gold. We're at the final turtle of game one. This is interesting. I think FCAP's going to trade. I think they're going to let this happen because of what Super Mario's doing down bottom. Yeah, they don't mind. They're trying to slow this down as much as... Oh, a good final slash. Here comes the Eternal Guard in combination. Numenon Blast isn't going to connect on nobody, but that tells Falcons, AP Brand, take our bot tier one. This neutral is ours. Wait. Oh. oh, he wants to go back in, but dude, Wolf was right. KLVJ, he's so activated on this hero. Every single CC gives him another option to jump. Activated and hyperactive. He just sees a target, I'm in. He sees two or three final slash, give it to daddy. And now they take that last turtle of the game in SOD. They're gonna pull the trigger on Ogwin. Not gonna happen. They are gonna take this tier two up top. Yep, at least the trades are looking relatively good, right? Because despite Xian uh, Yu Gaiman being at 22,000 gold, Falcons AP brand at 20,000. So it's only a 2K gold differential overall.
we're, we're wondering where the gold is. A good majority of it is currently on uh, Luong and uh, Yone. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, well, a good chunk on uh, KLVJ as well. But you're looking at two heroes in the XP. Oh, oh wait. Marco oh. in trouble. He wants to get out of there. He's already used to Purify. But now the rest of the team kind of out of position. The Eternal Guard going to buy some time. And KLVJ finds the opportunity. Takes down Ogwen. And... XYG, they're doing a phenomenal job because the first couple of fights they're like, oh man, we grouped up too close together. Now, few, he's just taking hits after hits after hits, and even Xian Yu are trying to dodge him. Yep, they, they, they bring the fight to few, mm -hmm. and that's why the diversion play from the Lu Yi isn't really happening. One of the main strengths of this super hot commodity in the current metagame is not getting activated, they're not letting it through. So now, on stage, you can see it now, live from Riyadh. The pressure on Falcons AP Brent's shoulders, the last time they felt this was in the playoffs, in the grand finals of <laughs> MPL Philippines Season 13 in the Hall of Champions. And now they're facing off against, I'd say, a foreign enemy. They haven't met up with KLVJ in years, a lot of these players, right? Mm -hmm. They haven't seen the king in a while. And now he's so good. He's so activated. 4-1-1. I mean, he's leaving his mark here for sure. It's like, you can't forget about me. You guys may be world champions, but I've been here longer than most of y'all. He's a one-time MSC champion about three years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they're able to do e go even further, right? Because I think closing out this game is going to be XYG's biggest problem. Because uh, again, oh. there's just so much peel for the side of Falcons AP brand. And if they get a little too low, you can see that Kyle, he's ready to go like and pounce into like and pounce into like and pounce. Talking about Kyle, again, I'm not so sure what that does for his ego, for his morale. Oh, wait! Super Marco's in trouble, Blazing Duet! Oh, no. He... Oh, wait. Do they know? Oh, here comes the it's diversion. Bait, it's a bait play? It's a conceal as well. They're all right on top of Lung. Numenor Blast, needs to connect. It only finds one so far. Super Marco wants to get back into this, but God Yang is saying no more projectiles for you. Is the back line getting attacked as well? Oh. Clap. TZ is trying to survive in the primal wrap. TZ fights Super Marco, and you know what? does find Flap TZ. It's a two for nothing trade, a creative play, but they could not take Lung down. Target acquisition and economics is what. Shanyu Gaming has above the defending world champions in this current game. You can see that that was an amazing setup with mm -hmm. a diversion, but they were outgunned, they were outmanned, outplayed, and outsmarted in that moment, given that they were they almost found low, right? They almost found low, but they, they couldn't finish the job, and now they're gonna lose this lord. They're gonna do it again, but He's already secured one, and now they jump right into a few. He's just gone. He doesn't. It doesn't even matter at this point. They're looking to fish for more, and Ogwin can only do so much. God, yeah, great Numenor Blast to zone out the rest of the members, because they're going to get another free pick here. Another two kills on top of that Lord. Well oh, wow. done, XYG. Ogwin's just buying a lot of time. Mm -hmm. He knows he's gone for this world, but, I mean... He lasted like five or six seconds longer than he should have. Yeah, he did. But honestly, it's precious time so that Falcon's AP brand can start thinking about, hey, we can start freezing our waves. We can start desyncing these waves against XYG. So at most, they only take our outer turrets. And there is still a tier two in mid and in bottom. So they are going to stay inside their base and maybe keep a little bit of their jungle. Best case scenario. Mm -hmm. Worst case, this is all over. These are the kind of situations that a Rome Lolita love. And we don't see really much of Lolita. Yeah. But now, check it out. We got God Yang about to make a difference. Oh, they're going to lose this inhibitor? Yeah, they might just lose this inhibitor here. Lung, he's trying to get these auto attacks in. It's frustrating because he's just out of range. And it's still, the next wave, it's probably going to collapse. But here comes Lord on the top side of the map. And it looks like FCAP. They're waiting for the opportunity, right? Lung is a little chunked out right now, but they need to deal with one problem at a time. Let me in, says XYG. And they are going to see this massive wave down bottom. Can FCAP get to it? They oh, should. Oh, they lost it. Penetrated. We're mm. in. All right, all right. So big wins for XYG's side because most of the time it really comes down to, hey, can I set up that checkmate angle? 10,000 gold lead, first lord, break open an inhibitor, and then you've got a very clear way to end this game. But Xianyu, at this point of time, 6,000 is pretty good for them, but with that open inhibitor, the next lord is going to be so much tougher for Falcon's AP brand. I mean, good news and bad news, right? Mm -hmm. You're looking at the bad news. Good yeah. news is... Lord is on the weak side. Oh, it Lord is. Lord is where it needs to be for Falcons to be able to defend. And if I'm not mistaken, 
purple might go over oh. XYG. There's a jump! Yeah, but he gets pushed back by the final slash. In fact, he doesn't have enough time. He ends up going down before he gets some real value. Oh, but Ogren, he does get a really good wild charge, but it doesn't matter. Everything's being reflected back. The damage dealers can't get their damage in because of Khan Young. What a perfect Lolita pick. Now the fight oh. continues. Look, LVJ, he's out of there finally, despite the reaction. Like and bounce. It's not good, though. Long, he needs to be careful. He cannot get hit by the second half of that. That was a bloody battle. Mm -hmm. XYG really could have gotten punished so hard, but God Yang was where he needed to be. And KLVJ built the right amount of sustain. I'm loving the TB, man. Thunderbelt is on the rise. Permanent hybrid defense for every time you hit an enemy with that enhanced basic attack every four seconds. That's going to add up the longer the match goes. Honestly, this is pretty crazy, right? Because now KLVJ, he, with Brave Smite as well, he is ultra tanky he is not easy to take down at all considering uh, uh well f cap's considerably bad position but i think it's more towards the economics than anything else it's what you call an absolute unit mm -hmm. <laughs> reminds me of a good friend of ours jc yes yes mr Rezbek himself the building but with this luminous lord things are wait a second what, what? did he just did God Yang just Is purchase this a, a magic build, Lolita? A, let me double check the numbers. Does that scale? Yes, it does scale. It does scale in a matter of fact, and it also gives her a bit of a shield. So this is kind of interesting, right? Wh when I, you're this far ahead, you can afford to do that. I mean, you're not entirely wrong there. When you got money, you can do a lot of things. But at this point, I think that XYG, they want to end this game in one singular fight. And they are close to their average game time, about 15 minutes. 14.30 right now, second Lord of the game. They're doing the best rendition of a dance that you can in 2024, in July, in this current <laughs> meta game. Lord here at three quarters of its health get reset. All right, all right. The fishing continues, right? And I think this is kind of good for at least Falcon's AP brand. Despite it being on the weak side of the map, they can at least rotate down, get somebody to clear it up. Best case scenario, maybe XYG moves off of the Lord pit. All right, they do push Ogwin back out. Long continues oh. to hit that, and oh no! Oh, it's not good. Ogwin, he gets blasted by U1, and now you can just see how annoying this Eternal Guard is. It, it, it's basically Vexana saying, "No, I'm drawing a line in the sand. You can't walk past it." Got sent back right into Ohio. 514 currently. XYG controlling a majority of the map, and it's not like they're hurting to do that. They are literally just walking in the sand. They are just having a good old time treating this lovely Wednesday afternoon like a Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And they get the second Lord of the game. Now it's back to the drawing board for Falcons AP Bren. Oh no, they're gonna put, oh no, they're assaulting the wound. Lord spawns down bottom. That's Falcon AP Bren's Achilles heel right now. I think here's the biggest problem, right? XYG, they took so, they did this dance for so long. Look at the money, right? Falcons AP brand are 2,000 away from the key power spike. And I, and I think when we're looking all across the board, right? Like, Kyle, he's pretty strong. He's got the items. Yep. Uh, also looking at Super Marco. He needs one more. And then Bob's your uncle. Lord's inside the base. Mid lane in jeopardy. Top lane. Long's getting to it right now. Lord might actually go down. F cap, maybe. In my opinion, defending the second Lord better than the first? Yeah, much better in a matter of fact. You can just see that XYG. Oh, hold on. Eternal Guard is already out oh. super early on, but the wave clear is just way better for the side of Falcon's AP Brem with the help of few, making sure that he's able to spread out the damage. That's right. The first five, ten minutes of this matchup was bad mm -hmm. for El Capitan. Last time he saw MSC was in 2018. Now oh. he's in a formation. Oh, the wild touch, and then the heavy spin. He's trying to flicker out of there, but Super Marco is Her. already in the back line. Allowing to get Kyle Teasy the kills and now it's still pretty dead centered even but somebody has to go down immortality's broken like a house from kyle once oh, again take it look now he gets aggressive fights and shut down onto kyle tz well done xyg that was tough the only remaining players from falcons ap brand saver flap tz who pulled the primal wrath or the softies that's why they couldn't lean hard into their current power spike but that could have definitely gotten much, much worse. Yeah, this shield coming in from God Yang is proving, is honestly ruining the tempos of Falcons AP. As soon as XYG suspect, hey, they're walking up, they're about to engage, that shield comes up. Immediately, the range heroes are like, we gotta calm down. Oh, Luminum Blast. 
It's already Patching down. no one. Oh, wait. Oh, a good pushback. But they always lose one person. That's it. He's already down. Wind <laughs> of nature coming in from Super Marco. He's looking for as many people as possible. Lung is already losing his immortality. Can he get out? No. It's too late. Despite already switching his kill. items. Kill VJ does break the immortality off the Super Marco, but does not secure the kill. That's sweet for nothing. The king has fallen, and that's a shutdown. Huge swing in the economy. Falcons AP Bren out of the woods. Gold-wise, they have closed the gap. We are now at deadlock. Or one more look here at this team fight. I think the key was catching long. Mm -hmm. You catch long, there's no one left for God Yang or Kill to protect. Because again, you saw how far Yone was. Yep. And now Falcons AP Bren gonna make, oh, they're gonna make a killing on the map. They are, they are playing Monopoly, bro. They are buying block after block after block, and now it's turning blue. XYG, time to pay rent. Yep, I mean, at this point, they're running out of money, and they're eventually going to have to start paying with real estate here, right? They've already lost a lot, of, a lot of their towers, and maybe, I think that XYG, we need to still remember that their composition is pretty heavily dependent on their alts, and... Falcons AP Brand, they find that window. The shield is down, the Numa Blast is down, Heavy Spin and Eternal Guard gone. All right, we can make something happen. And now the quote unquote dance begins. Kyle TZ wailing away at the Lord, pulling it out of the pit. That is going to be a soft reset. Right. Now kill VJ and Zed, keeping the dance up. Diversion play up top. They are going to send away Super Marco. Oh, he's probably left the Battle Mirror image back in the mid lane, right? Yup, yup, yup. They're clearing it super fast. Nicely done. Good utilization of the diversion. And even XYG, they're like, wait a second, hold on. That's hold not fair. On. That's not fair. It's not. It's not. Wait, Eternal Guard's already out. Wild Charge as well. Wow, really good Winter Crown coming up from you. He won. And now Oakland, he's getting punished. He's already lost his immortality as the rest of the team are funneling into this choke point. Flap Tazy with his ult is cutting them down one by one. But in the back line, look, he's trying to find one. No, he gets blown up by <laughs> Kill. Yeah. Kill's dead. God dang, next to fall. Zed also getting chucked out. Falcons, AP, Bren, managed to sneak their way through another divergent. Send them anywhere they want, man. Wherever what they fight. need to be. Drop pot assault anywhere, man. Exterminatus has been called on the XYG. Three for none, the first big team fight for Falcons, AP, Bren to win in this almost 20 minute bout. And now they're marching it down mid. Gideon, do you believe it? Do you believe it's endable? It's pro. It's looking a little endable, I'm not gonna lie, but somebody's gotta defend their base while they're taking down the mid inhibitor. Oh, Gwen, once again. Good wild charge, E1. He's going down. Can he get out? Kill VJ tries to make the hero play. Still, it's not enough. He's too low. Lycan Pouse finds his second one. Well done. GG, well played. What a comeback coming in from Falcons AP Bren. A valiant and definitely impressive showing from XYG in the first three quarters of this matchup. But Falcons AP Bren threaded the needle, put it right through that nanometer width and found the comeback. You can see the disappointment in KLVJ's face. He really worked hard for this. He did, but they missed that timing, right? That second Lord, they had to force something against them. And I think maybe it could have been a flicker, flicker Numenon blast play. Uh, it could have been just, you know, landing a single fear. So many things could have been changed differently in that situation.